For those that are new to this channel, my name is Adam. I'm a professional photographer from the UK, currently living in Edinburgh, Scotland. We saw some light snow here this week. Here are a couple of quick pictures that I shot. After buying the R6, I had a decision to make. This is the first camera that I've owned where the LCD screen fully articulates back in on itself. By doing this, you can protect your screen or rotate the screen inwards to prevent yourself from chimping away looking at every shot you take. A few years ago, while traveling to a job, one of my speed lights brushed against my first Canon 5D and scratched the camera. I wasn't too happy with myself at the time, but these things do happen. Since then, I've always added a thick screen protector to all of my cameras. As the Canon R6 has a fully articulating screen that faces inwards, I decided to choose a screen protector labelled as High Definition, 9H Hardness and Ultra Thin. This was with the Outlook, so I could still have the option to rotate the screen inwards if I wish. As you can see, the picture on the box is clearly not a Canon R6, that's quite funny. I was nervous about fitting this light, thankfully no bubbles here, it's a perfect fit. This appears to be made from a very tough material as the product states. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Yes, the screen fully rotates inwards, so that's good news, so I'm really happy about this. This video was recorded around a month ago, and since buying the screen protector, I'm still in the habit of leaving my screen facing outwards, just as I would on any of my older cameras. Personally, for me, I could have just chosen a fixed screen protector for the job as I'm not likely to rotate my screen inwards. But I still hope you found this video of some use. Maybe you can ask yourself whether you intend to rotate your own screen inwards or not. This will help you decide whether you need a fixed screen protector or a thin one. I've shared the link below to the thin screen protector that I've used in this video. Okay, stay sharp and I'll see you in the next one.